Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you haven't been here before. So I wanted to do a follow-up on some seeds that I collected earlier this year along the Gulf Coast of Texas. And I'd, I'd done a previous video on these. I collected uh, three different types here. They've been starting to come up here over the last month or so, so I thought I'd show you guys how they're doing. I've, all three of them are coming up. And basically I got the on the left there, the Texas Sable Palmetto, which is a larger version of the regular Sable Palmetto. And then in the middle there, I have the Livestona Chinensis, also known as the Chinese Fan Palm. And on the right, in those really small pots, Washingtonia Robusta, known as the Mexican Fan Palm. So I'll start over here with the Texas Sable. And uh, as you can tell, they are doing quite well. I keep torturing myself and planting seeds in, in single pots and community pots and I need, I need to stop doing that because it, it just makes it really hard to separate them later and if you've ever separated seedlings in a community pot um, sometimes when you transplant them they, they get shocked a little bit uh, they don't some of them don't do as well I have found out I've lost some seedlings in that doing that method so I think I'm just gonna buy some uh, trays that have the separate cells in them that I can just plant single seeds in and then just go up in size from there. But uh, as you can see, kind of zoom in a little bit, there's quite a few. There's some growing on top or growing underneath other seedlings. Um, you'll see that here in a minute with the Livestona as well. Um, I really packed these pots pretty good with seeds because I didn't have a lot of pots to plant them in. So, uh, but as you can tell, they're growing just fine. We're in late June, so they really kicked up in growth uh, once the heat and humidity started increasing. And um, so if you want a palm that's very cold hardy, um, these are very widespread throughout Texas, West Texas, Gulf Coast. I see some of them around here, not as many, but uh, these will be a great palm for you. Dallas, Texas has a lot of these, although a lot of them got burned pretty good here in this, this freeze over the winter. But uh, yeah, great palm to grow if you're in a hot, humid climate. Over here, here's the Chinese fan palm, Livestona. Um, I'm excited about these because I don't have any of these yet, and I really wanted to grow these for a while. And um, I really had to pack these in this larger pot. So as you can see, a lot of that soil's pushing up from underneath. That's because I have seedlings just coming up underneath other seedlings. And so these will have to be separated really soon before they start to suffer. Um, I do have other seedlings I still need to separate first uh, because they're, they're starting to get stunted and pretty soon they're not gonna do as well, so. And I also have some more coming up in these smaller pots. And these were kind of slow to come up. These were the last ones to come up of the three. But once they started coming up, they really took off. And uh, you gotta excuse the traffic noise. I'm pretty close to the highway here, so. But, uh, yeah, they, they started coming up really quick here in the last couple weeks. And um, these are a great palm. If you want to start growing palms from seed, they're easy to germinate. Um, they're fairly fast growing and they work well as an indoor palm as well as an outdoor palm. So if you live in a really cold climate and you don't want to fuss with all the protection and all that, uh, these will work great as an indoor palm as well. Um, just give them a nice, well-lit area. Uh, keep them slightly moist because they do like the moisture, they like the humidity. And um, these were very, I found these very widespread along the Texas Gulf Coast out, outdoors. So uh, anyway, these are also very cold hardy as well. So that's pretty much, you know, pretty much what I grow is, is cold hardy types. And then over here, we have the Washingtonia Robusta. Now these I'm having a little bit of an issue with. These were the ones, these are three of the pots that are on the ground. These are all the seeds I, I collected from the Gulf Coast. They're all cram packed in these little pots. That's all I had left. And these are the ones that were on the ground next to the table of the uh, small pots of Washingtonia I'd separated. I did another video on those as well. And um, I guess having them on the ground wasn't a good idea because I had about a half a dozen seedlings coming up in this pot and they're all gone. They got eaten. Something ate them. It's the thing about Texas is that anything that can sting you, bite you, slap you in the face, 
it's out here. So uh, got to be. I'm, I'm learning that there's uh, there's certain pests that I got to watch out for. But as you can see, there's a lot of seeds in there. I'm hoping they continue to come up. I have them on this raised deck now, so I'm hoping maybe they won't have as much of an issue with stuff getting to them. And as you can see right here, we have some, some popping up. They look nice and healthy, but right underneath here, you can see something chomped on those other ones. But uh, still plenty of seeds left, so I'm keeping some hope that they will continue to grow. Um, but they're doing quite well. All three of them came up. I'm really excited about that. So uh, yeah, I will keep updates on these. I'm probably gonna have to separate at least the uh, Texas Sables and the Chinese Fan Palms here pretty soon because they're, as you can tell, they're getting pretty crowded in these pots. But uh, anyway, just a quick update on that, or maybe not necessarily a quick update, but an update for you. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, so that is it for this video. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.